Hi, I'm Brian Christ with AudioBiz, and today we're going to give you a quick overview of the Wireless Workbench 6 software by Shure. Shure's free Wireless Workbench software can be an invaluable tool for your event or show, helping you coordinate wireless frequencies for not only Shure devices, but other manufacturers as well. As I said, the software is free, and at the end of this quick overview, we'll show you how to get a copy of your own. But until then, let's give you a quick overview of the software. The software has three main tabs, Inventory, Frequency, Coordination, and Monitor. On our Inventory tab, any Sure device that has a network jack and is on your network will automatically show up. We can also add new devices, such as ones by Sure or other manufacturers, into the mix. From within here, we can edit channel name, frequency, and a number of other parameters. In our Frequency Coordination tab, we can import scans from Network Sure devices or things like the Sure AX T600 Spectrum Manager. We can enter our zip code in and show what TV channels might be in play in the area that we're at. And we can also add additional inclusions such as UHF radios or potentially public safety and other items. Those will all show up in our scanner window here along with our current frequencies that we're operating our various wireless units at. We can then analyze our current frequencies or have Wireless Workbench calculate our new frequencies for us. If we do that, it will take into account not only the entire environment, but also the potential interactions between the different devices. In our Monitoring tab, any Network Sure device will show up, giving us RF strength, the antenna that the device is on, our audio level, as well as a battery indicator. We can also print out full inventory reports of what we have, will display our show and customer information if pertinent, our inventory report with the devices and channels that they're on, and additional exclusions such as TV channels or the other things that we talked about before, and this can be exported to a PDF or printed out for future reference. So that's a quick overview of the Wireless Workbench 6 software. We'll now show you how to get a copy of your very own. Simply go to the Wireless Workbench Forum, which is designated by our banner down here. And you'll see the first thing that comes up is how to get Wireless Workbench 6. If you click on that, it will tell you to register and create an account, which you can do right here. Once you create your account, you'll receive instructions on how to finish the registration process. And sure does not send you any spam or advertisements. It only alerts you to new updates to the Wireless Workbench software and the various firmwares of their different items. Once you do sign up and log in, the screen will change to this. Where we have a number of different items, but you can click on the latest Wireless Workbench 6 version, download, and you'll be set to go. I will tell you that it is very important to disable your firewall the first time you try to network devices, as Wireless Workbench 6 works best without one. But with that, that was a quick overview of the Wireless Workbench 6 software by Sure. Stick around and we'll have tutorials for you on how to add and manage your inventory, sync and scan for frequencies and new available frequencies, and operate the Sure AXT600 Spectrum Manager. So until next time, I'm Brian Christ with AudioBiz, and thank you for watching.